Great. I'm just taping everything so it gives me more of a chance to interact with okay. you, just to let you know. Okay. Great. When we do the scene, are you okay with sitting or you want to stand? Uh, whichever you prefer. Okay. How about we just sit since we're already here? Great. Okay. Got a hand picture and resume? Great. Ooh, very sultry. Thank you. Okay, love it. Great. Where are you from, Aliki? Um, what well, my family it, um, is from Greece, ah. and otherwise I've been kind of military child, so just moving ah, out and of that, the state. And that brought you to let's see, where'd you go to school? To Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Great. So how long did you live there before you went to school? Um, I lived there. Um, actually. Uh, well, I went to high school, yeah, so basically eight years. Total. About eight years now, yeah. that's great. Longest place I've stayed in, you know. For a military brat, that's a long time. Yeah. A lot of it probably has to do with the fact that you're in college, too. Yeah, yeah. It? yeah. My parents moved when I was uh, a sophomore, at the end of my sophomore year, so my last two years in high school, I commuted and stayed uh, with Greek family friends, which is the same as staying with my family. Yeah. So, Where'd they so, move? Um, they moved, they went to Wyoming, actually. Wow. Yeah, which, and they could, they were trying to convince me because if I had graduated from my high school in Wyoming, I got free tuition to go to a college in Wyoming. Tell so like, you know, come wow. Back. I was like, if I want to do theater yeah. in Wyoming, I'm like, <laughs> show. Like, Somehow, yeah. that in the same sentence isn't working, yeah, exactly. is it? <laughs> That's very cute. I love that. Did you like going to VCU? Oh, I did. Yes. Yeah. All right. What's some highlights for you in terms of mm. being there? Highlights. Well, um, I remember freshman year, I would uh, see upperclassmen and um, professors, and I would look at them like they are celebrities. I, mean, <laughs> I would see them walk across campus and literally just stop what I was doing and just watch them. And if they said hi to me, it would just be a... <sighs> <laughs> you know, it was just, I, I mean, I, you know, and then growing and getting to know them better, they almost um, solidified that that just majesty that I I, I looked at them with. Yeah. But, uh, but but of course, they made me feel comfortable with them and stuff. So it was just a Do you really more like of the, admiration yeah. than the, oh my god, it's a celebrity. Yeah. So it was. You really love the faculty a I lot. Do. That's yeah. great. That's nice to hear. You don't hear that a lot. That's very <laughs> cool. Uh, and you're bilingual in both Greek and English. Yes, That's very beneficial. That's mm -hmm. nice to know. Great. Okay. Um, so what role do I have you reading? Um, Andy. Andy. Mm -hmm. The lead in the movie. Mm -hmm. That is nice. So you're going to read with me. I'm shooting you from about the waist up. All right. All righty. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? Um, did you want me to go ahead and... Um you know, with the jacket to hang it up or to mine anything. You can just sort of act, you okay. know, indicate. Okay. But you don't need to get up if you don't want to. All right. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yes. Cool. Andrea Sachs? Oh, yes. Oh, great. Human resources certainly has an odd sense of humor. All right, follow me. Okay, so I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant recently got promoted, so now I'm the first. We're trying to find a replacement for me, but Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. We need you to be someone who can survive here. Do you understand? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Um, uh, who's Miranda? Oh my God, I will pretend you did not just ask me that. She is the editor-in-chief of Runway, not to mention a legend. Work a year for her and you can get a job at any magazine you want. A million girls would kill for this job. <laughs> well, sounds like a great opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Runway is a fashion model magazine, so an interest in fashion is crucial. Oh, what makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? Ring, ring, ring. Oh my God, no, no, no. Uh, what's wrong? She's on her way, tell everyone. She's must have supposed to be here until nine. Her driver just text messaged and her facialist ruptured a disc. God, these people. Who's that? That uh, I can't even talk about. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Did someone eat an onion bagel? I hope you know that this is a very difficult job, which you are totally wrong. If you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. Now hang that up. Don't just fling it anywhere. Uh, for, okay, now first of all, you and I answer the phones. The phone must be answered every single time it rings. Calls roll to voicemail, she gets very upset. If I'm not here, Andrea, Andrea, you are chained to that desk. Um. Well, what if I need to... What? No. One time an assistant left the desk because, you know, she sliced her hand open with a letter opener and Miranda missed Lagerfield just before he was boarding a 17-hour flight to Australia. Mm -hmm. She now works for TV Guide. Oh. 
Amanda desk at all times. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Uh, Miranda Presley's office. No, she's not available. Who is it? Yes, I will tell her you called. Yet again. Right. Now, remember, you and I have totally different jobs. I mean, you get coffee and run errands, yet I am in charge of her schedule, her appointments, and her expenses. And, oh, most importantly, I get to go to Paris for Fashion Week in the fall. I get to wear couture. I go to all the shows and all the parties. I meet all the designers. It's divine. Okay, now, just stay here. I'm going to go to the art department to give them the book. The this is the book. This is the mock-up of everything in the current issue. Mm -hmm. And we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every night, and she returns it. Don't touch it. Mm -hmm. She returns it to us in the morning with her notes. Mm -hmm. Now, the second assistant is supposed to do this, but Miranda is very private, and she does not like strangers in her house. So until she decides that you're not a total psycho, I get the lovely little task of waiting around for the book. Mm. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, um, Emily. Uh, deal with it. Mm. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Uh, Miss Presley's office? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's what I mean, Miranda Presley's office. Um, uh, you know, she's in a meeting. Could I take a message? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, sorry, could you please spell Gabbana? Hello? Guess not. I guessed an eight and a half. Um, uh... That, that's very nice of you, but I don't think I need these. I mean, Miranda hired me. She, she knows what I look like. <laughs> Do you? Emily! Emily! She means you. Cut. Good. Nice. Very nice job. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank All right. You. Talk to you later, Alika. Aliki, sorry. Yes. Yeah, send the next person in for me if you would, please. Recording everything just so I can interact with you a little bit more. Okay. Since I'm the everything over here. <laughs> Got a picture and resume? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Where are you from, Jillian? Yorktown, Virginia. Ah, Virginia. Cool. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, lives in Yorktown, Virginia my whole life. Yeah? Come from a pretty big family. You do? Yeah, four girls. Pretty crazy household. Where are you in the lineup of girls? The last. You're the baby of the family? Mm -hmm. Are there perks to that? Um. I hear there are. I'm the oldest. There are. Really? There are, but you know, <laughs> they they try to try to fault me and be like, you know, it, it's so easy, and I'm like, hmm. Just because you're younger, they they use you for that. They claim I was spoiled. That that's not true. <laughs> it's, it's just simply not true. That's what I said. Were they spoiled? No, but I mean, like, you know, by the time I was like ten years old, they were getting to go out and do new things, and I had to sit at home and just watch them do it, and they'd come home and talk about, you know, the dates they went on, and I was like. <laughs> Let me shoot my legs. Did you tag along with them much? I tried to. Yeah, that's always seemed so painful. Yeah. Yeah. I spent a lot of time getting getting the boot. <laughs> getting rejected. <Yeah. laughs> well, it would get you ready for acting, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? I guess so. I know. So uh, you went to Virginia Commonwealth University. Yeah. Cool. Tell me some highlights about your training there. What were some things that really worked for you? Well, the, there wasn't any sort of set style. We mm -hmm. did we experimented with a lot of different things, and and including in like voice and movement. Mm -hmm. So we everyone kind of came out of it having having the chance to make their own style, and their own process, mm -hmm. not so much you know cookie cutter. You know, mm -hmm. this is what an actor should be. It's you know that's our training. Basically, was was what is your definition of an actor and. Cool. That's great. Um, are you interested in television and film? Yes. Where do you want to uh, light eventually? New York or Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. So you do like television and film mm -hmm. a lot. That's great. I see you've worked with Ken Laser. Yes. I have worked with him before. He's so, wonderful. He's very nice funny. And, yeah. He's a great guy. All right. Um, cool. What role do I have you reading for? Andy. Andy, the lead in the movie. <laughs> Hello. I like that. Okay. I'm going to be reading with you. All right. All right. And you can relate directly to me as opposed to the camera. I'll move that out of the way a little bit. Great. I'm shooting you from kind of chest up. Yeah. All right. Great. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Fun. Mm -hmm. Andrea Sachs? Yes. 
Oh, great. Human Resources certainly has an odd sense of humor. Um, follow me. Okay, so I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant re recently got promoted. So now I'm the first. They're trying to find a replacement for me, but Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. Uh, we need you to be someone who can survive here. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, who's Miranda? Oh my God, I will pretend you did not just ask me that. Um, she is the editor-in-chief of Runway, not to mention a legend. Work a year for her and you can get a job at any magazine you want. A million girls would kill for this job. Oh, well. Sounds like a great opportunity. <laughs> and Tria's Runway is a fashion magazine, so an interest in fashion is crucial. What makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? Ring, ring, ring. Oh my god, no, no, no. What's wrong? Uh, she's on her way. Tell everyone. She's not supposed to be here until 9. Her driver just text messaged and her facialist ruptured a disc. God, these people. Who's that? Um, that I cannot even talk about. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Uh, did someone eat an onion bagel? Oh. I, I hope you know that this is a very difficult job for which you are totally wrong, and if you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. Now, now hang that up, and don't, don't just fling it every, anywhere. Okay, first of all, you and I answer the phones. The phone must be answered every single time it rings. Calls roll to voicemail, and she gets very upset. If I'm not here, Andrea, Andrea, you are chained to that desk. Uh, well, what if I need to, um, What? Get... No, one time an assistant left the desk because, you know, she sliced her hand open with a letter opener, and Miranda missed Lagerfield just before he boarded a 17-hour flight to Australia. She now works at TV Guide. Man the desk at all times. Got it. Ring, ring, ring. <coughs> ring. Miranda Presley's office. No, she's not available. Who is it? Yes, I'll tell her you called. Yet again. Right, remember you and I have totally different jobs. I mean, you get coffee and run errands, yet I am in charge of her schedule, her appointments, and her expenses. And most importantly, I go with her to Paris for a week, or in the fall I get to wear couture, and I go to all the shows and all the parties, and I meet all the designers. It, it's divine. Okay, now just stay here. I'm going to the art department to give them the book. Uh, the... This is the book. Um, now, this is a mock-up of everything in the current issue, and we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every night, and she returns... Don't touch it! She returns it to us in the morning with her notes. Now, the second assistant is supposed to do this, but Miranda is very private, and she does not like strangers in her house, so until she decides that you are not a psycho, I get the lovely little task of waiting around for the book. Oh. I'm ring, 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 ring. Um, what do I do? Deal with it. You can keep going if you want to. Yeah. Go through the phone conversations. Yeah. Hello, Miss Presley's office? That's what I meant. Miranda Presley's office. Um, you know she is in a meeting. Can I t please take a message? Uh-huh. Okay, could you please spell Gabbana? Hello? Guess not. I guessed an eight and a half. Um, uh, that's very nice of you, but I don't think I, I need these. Miranda hires me. She knows what I look like. <laughs> Do you? Emily! Emily! She means you. Um. Go. Good. Nice. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jillian. It was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You're more than welcome. Please send to the next person when you get a minute.